Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Studio here in Lytham. And it's a quick question I wanted to answer, uh, one from a subscriber. And it was a question, should you roll your hands in the golf swing? So I'm guessing he's meaning through impact. So the idea of, of getting him to, to roll the hands coming through the shot. Um, the simple answer to this is I would say no. I would say rolling your hands through impact is very inconsistent. It's, there's a lottery of what that club face could be doing through that, that period of time through the hitting area. It could be left open, it could square, it could close. And I feel that the, the dispersion right to left could be quite enormous if you relied on rolling your hands through impact. So the idea of actually getting the, the arms to roll, the hands to roll over, actually rolling your hands over, trying to get that club face to square. You can even see when I'm just doing that example there, how much that club face is actually trying to rotate over and, and roll over. And to do that precisely, fast, through a very small hitting area is risky. It's very, very risky. Now I'm not saying some successful golfers don't do it. Some, some successful golfers do have very active hands through the ball. Maybe not the word rolling, but they manage to, to manipulate the club face being square by using the hands to try and square it up. Even to a degree, I, I even involve my hands in my golf swing a little bit as well. I know that I slightly open the club face going back and I have to slightly work the, the hands through the ball to square it up. But I think if you are actively trying to really roll the club face over, there's other areas in your golf swing which aren't as good. There's other times in your golf swing where your club face isn't remaining square. Whether that's a, a dress because your grip's not correct, or whether it's in the takeaway where you're rolling the face open already, or whether when you get even to the very top of your swing, your golf club is laid open or it opens coming back down, you shouldn't really need to try and roll the face if we were working on a more neutral grip, if your club face was square at a dress, takeaway, top of back swing, coming back down, you shouldn't need to roll the club face over. You see some of your, even your top players in the world almost do the opposite. Try and be very quiet with the hands for impact. We look at your players like uh, John Spieth, very quiet arm action through the ball, almost trying to hold the face off because he holds it in a strong grip, therefore has to hold the face off. He's anti-rolling. He definitely doesn't want to roll the golf club. And for that purpose, he's relatively consistent. He's relatively consistent. So I think that the quick answer to that would be rolling the club face or rolling the hands over would not be recommended if you're looking for consistent golf shots that go somewhere near target. Um, you can hit straight shots by rolling your hands but you can also hit right shots and left shots, which I'm not sure about you guys, but I don't know if that's a good way of playing golf. Um, I think the, the main kind of ethos would be to make sure that your grip's in a good state, making sure it's neutral or a little bit on the stronger side, making sure you keep your club face square at takeaway, top of back swing, coming back down into the golf ball, and then working on keeping the arms, if anything, quieter through the shot, making sure the face and path relationship can be more reliable, can be more consistent. So we're not not looking at swinging through and trying to roll the face over. Because I just, I just couldn't see how that could ever be consistent. That's got miles left, by the way, which I would imagine it ever it would do. We're looking for a club face that stays relatively neutral through the ball. There will always be a rate of closure. That club face will be closing. I just don't think you have to manually turn the face over to make that happen. So we're looking at more neutral grip, slightly on the stronger side, keeping everything more square so that through the ball we can be quieter and hit more consistent straight shots. I would say that is, <laughs> nice shot. That is definitely more the kind of idea and the plan to make you a more consistent golfer. So guys, hopefully that's answered your questions. If you've got any more, please post them down below. Um, as always, do subscribe to my free YouTube channel by clicking the big link here. Thumb up the video if you've enjoyed it, and hopefully that's going to help you become a little bit consistent, more consistent with this game. If you're struggling for 
squaring the, or getting that club face square, check out other videos of how to stop hitting the ball off to the right or to the left. That's probably more the way you're going to hit straighter shots. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you all soon and uh, stay tuned.